Hi guys, this is Otto here and today I would like to show you how to get the motor out of your electric roller blind um, and how to get the end cap out. Um, this can be useful for example if your motor is broken or for example if you move places and you just want to have the motor on the other side and reverse things. Now the thing is um, the motor is quite tightly fitted into the tube often so that doesn't mean it's, it's locked in position somewhere, it's just very tight. Um, so you need to apply quite a bit of force to get it out. Um, but you can just pull it out, there's nothing locking it in place. So pull it and it will come out. So that's one, one side. Um, um, as you can see, it's really tight. But all that's needed is a bit of force. Now on the other side, there's this, uh, this end plug that's fitted into the tube. That again, there's no, nothing that's holding it in place. Um, it's just pushed in, so the only, only thing you need to do is pull it out. And normally that goes quite smoothly. Now if that doesn't work, if it's really tight, then just use a screwdriver to make some space on all sides and then pull it out. So as you can see, it's very straightforward. Um, but a common misunderstanding is because it's so tight, because it's, uh, it's hard to get out, that there's something that's, that's, that's blocking uh, the motor or the, the end plug from coming out. That's not the case, at least not in our system, and it very rarely is, because anything that locks it into place um, would leave an impression on the, on the fabric, because it would be in the tube. So um, just apply a bit of force. Um, if you put the motor back on the other side, Use a bit of oil or something that helps it uh, uh, go in more smoothly because as you can see it's, uh, it's all very tight um, and that will make things uh, just a little bit more easy. Now, if you have any questions about uh, electric roller blinds in general, about this procedure, um, let me know. You can uh, get all the info in the description underneath the video and uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you.